Okay. Well, for my particular aha moment, when I first got it, I, I really didn't know what it was. And, and when I reflected back upon it, I realized that the reason I didn't have that experience for so many years is because I had to put the work in. That I, don't, I don't believe that the aha moment for me comes just because I'm playing the drums and I'm a musician or whatever. I had to do my 10,000 hours of, of practicing in the woodshed. I had to take lessons. I had to practice every day. And I had to master my craft first, and, and then I had to find my voice, my own unique style of playing with, within that, within drumming, because I believe that the, the drums came to me. I really didn't come to them. They, they chose me, and so I needed to find my voice. Now, once I found my voice, and I had my chops, as they call it, you know, I had my skills, then I was ready. I had done the work, and I was ready for that, for the, my first aha moment. I'm getting chills right now telling you about it right now. I remember I was on, on Westwood Boulevard playing in a, a bar upstairs near UCLA, and I had a little solo, and the drums took over. You know, I, I was dancing behind my drums, and I really didn't know how that was happening, but it was incredible. That was my first aha moment.